welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we will be designing a high efficiency 5 volt regulator with manual burst mode operation we would be designing this particular application using LT spice tool for this particular circuit design we would be using LT127 a 4 ampere high efficiency switching regulator and a 5 volt high efficiency step down switching regulator control which is LT1432. Before going into this tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Now click on new schematic and then click on components search for LT127 and select this switching regulator and place this on the schematic window Now again click on components and search for LT1432 which is a switching regulator controller and place this on the schematic window. Next click escape and we have to click on the components again in order to select the voltage source. So select this particular voltage source and place this voltage source on the schematic window right click on the voltage source and we have to mention the DC value as 10 volt now click on wire and extend the wire across the voltage source V1 to the SW pin of LT127 and connect the wire from V in of LT1432 to the voltage source V1. Click on capacitor and place the capacitor C1 on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Also place the capacitor C2 and C3 as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to place a resistor R1 on the schematic window. So click on the resistor and in order to rotate use control R and place this particular resistor on the schematic window and click escape. Now right click on capacitor C1 and the value of capacitance will be 0 0.02 microfarad. Again right click on capacitor C2 and define the value as 0 0.03 microfarad and for capacitor C3 it will be 0 0.1 microfarad. The value of resistor will be around 680 ohm. Now click on wire and connect the wire from the feedback pin to the capacitor C1 and from the VC pin of LT1271 to the resistor R1 and connect the capacitor C2 to the resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to capacitor C3. Now Connect the ground pin of LT1271 to the diode pin of LT1432 and the VC pin of LT1271 is connected to the VC pin of LT1432.
from the ground pin connect the wire to the capacitor C3 and to the capacitor C2 and then to the capacitor C1. Click on Diode and place the Diode D1 on the schematic window. In order to rotate the diode, use Ctrl plus R and right click on the diode and select 1N5818 diode and click OK. Place the ground connection to the diode D1 and connect the other end of a diode to the ground pin. Now click on ground connection and place the ground across. LT142 and also the ground across the mode pin. Click on wire and connect the mode pin to the ground and the ground pin to the ground connection. Now click on capacitor and place the capacitor C4 on the schematic window. Click escape. Now right click on the capacitor and change the value of capacitor to 10 microfarad and connect this particular capacitor to the diode D1. Now we must place the second diode so click on diode D2 and Place this diode on the schematic window. Now connect the diode D2 to V in pin and also connect the diode to the V plus pin of LT1432. And connect the capacitor C4 to diode D2. Next click on inductor and place this particular inductor on the schematic window in order to rotate use Ctrl plus R and place this on the schematic window. Next we have to place the resistor R2 and place this resistor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Right click on inductor and define the inductance as 50 micro Henry. Right click on resistor and define the resistance as 13 milli ohm. From the diode D1, connect the inductor L1 and from the inductor L1, connect the wire to the resistor R2. Now from VLIM pin, Connect the wire to R1 and from diode D2 connect this to the resistor R2. Now from V out connect this to resistor R2 and right click on the diode D2. Click on pick new diode and select 1N4148. 
place the capacitor C5 and connect this particular capacitor to resistor R2. Now click on resistor and this particular resistor will be the load resistor. So click on ground connection, place the ground connection on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. Click on wire, connect the capacitor C5 to the ground and also connect the resistor to the ground. Connect the resistor from R3 to capacitor C5. Right click on capacitor C5. Define the value as 390 microfarad. Right click on resistor R3. Define the resistance value as 5 ohm and right click on R3 and define this as R load and click OK. Click on place label and name this as in and place this across the voltage source. Click on place label and define this as out and place this across the load resistor. Now place the ground connection on the voltage source V1. So select the ground and place the ground across the voltage source V1. Now in order to perform the transient analysis click on edit, click on spice analysis, define the stop time as 3 millisecond and click on start ex external DC supply voltage and place this on the schematic window. Now run this particular simulation and place the probe on the output of this particular circuit. Now you can see the waveform of high efficiency 5 volt regulator with manual burst mode operation. The diode D1, the inductor L1 and the capacitor C2 act as a conventional catch diode and the output filter of the buck converter. These components should be selected carefully in order to maintain the high efficiency and acceptable output ripple. So the current limiting is performed by the resistor R2. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.